Well, the Spencers. Three generations of it. Big family. So big we got a mountain name for us. Mountain my daddy made his own. My son here will inherit it. It's called Spencer's Mountain. Anything you want to tell your old man? Like what, Pop? Well, a uh, young lad's up on a mountain most of the day with a lively little filly like Clarice. Lead his mother to imagine all sorts of things. Next time if I was you, I'd try to find a shady place. Yes, they're a whopping big hunk of humanity, these Spencers. As hearty as their heaping country breakfasts. Rugged as their old grandpa. And they hide every drop of whiskey I bring into this house. Busting with life as their house full of kids. Drink hearty and eat fast, man. Got a lot of work getting on before sundown. To be that boy Clay was talking about, the son who'll inherit Spencer's Mountain, that's something mighty big, too. But growing up with eight brothers and sisters and eight tall uncles, he's used to life busting out big. His dad set him an example. Daddy, snake, mama! Daddy, daddy, daddy! You shouldn't have come up here. You could fall through and break your neck. It is a long way down. Hold me. Well, why'd you come up here in the first place? So we could do this. This is the story of Clayboy Spencer. This was his place, his time, on Spencer's Mountain. You've never been outside this valley. You never even seen a city like that their university's in. You lost the first day. You could buy me a map. That boy could find his way through life if you'll give him that chance. It's always been my heart's craving for my babies to get better than I had. You will sign his application. I sure as hell will. <laughs> Pop's been hurt. I'm going for help. I'll go right up. 